Hey YouTube, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I wanted to make a quick review. Review, excuse me. Uh, sorry, I'm sick. Uh, I've got a Pentair uh, Master Temp 400 heater here, and uh, I've been getting error 05 for quite a while now. I turned on Spa and I got that, so I'm gonna shut it off. I turned on Cool. Let me show you guys. Uh, so there's something called the stack flue sensor, which is going to be this right here. Uh, I will put a link to the dis link to it in the description below. That'll take you straight to Amazon and the one that you need. Uh, so check that out. Also, there will be a donate link at the bottom of this page. If I saved you time, money, you want to show a little bit of appreciation. I do really appreciate comments, uh, likes, subscribes, but of course, a little donation would just be an uh, extra cherry on the pie. So. See it, and then I go to error 05. Now, I haven't found a whole lot of videos, unfortunately, showing how to do this, so I'm going to go ahead and figure it out, and then I will uh, get back to you guys and post it on, up on YouTube. So. There you go, error 5. So I'm going to go ahead and figure this out, and I'll let you guys know how to fix it. Hey, YouTube, here's my uh, Master Temp 400. Um, if you're getting error 05, which is a stack flu sensor, I wanted to show you where to locate it. Uh, the way to tell if you're getting, if it's a stack flu sensor is of course it'll say error 05. Um, after being on for a minute or two, the reason for that is there is a sensor that screws into the side of the exhaust. Uh, and here's the exhaust and you access that from the back cover. There's four screws back there on the corners and the edges of that are grooved. There's two connections that come off of that, and uh, a lot of times with rodents and stuff, I like to go in there and chew those up. So uh, you can press and hold the pool on or spa on button, I believe the pool on button, and it'll uh, fluctuate between 40 and 80, which is the stack flu sensor giving incorrect There is a sensor that screws into the side of the exhaust. Uh, and here's the exhaust, and you access that from the back cover. There's four screws back there on the corners and the edges of that are grooved. There's two connections that come off of that and uh, a lot of times with rodents and stuff I like to go in there. Okay, so I didn't feel like uh, grabbing an actual wrench. So I'm using this 14 extended depth here and that was uh, the right size to go ahead and loosen it while sliding over the wires. So now it's loose. I'm just gonna unthread it by hand. Again, this is the back side of the Master 10 400. The exhaust is pointing out on that side. Also linked to the flu. Stack flu sensor will be in the uh, description below, as well as a donate link if you feel so. Old stack flu sensor, shoot up, and our new one. So, I'm gonna go ahead and install this. Thread it in by hand. Do a half turn counterclockwise, that way you don't strip threads. Alright. There you go. Now I would grab an actual wrench for this. A 14 to go ahead and tighten it up and I suggest you do the same. And that's pretty much it, you guys. That's how you replace your stack flu sensor. So let me go ahead and put this back on, plug it back in, and we'll be good to go. Hey, you guys, now that we've replaced the stack flu sensor, let's see if it's going to work. exhaust him. 